Welcome back, Odooers. The first step to building an impressive company is attracting and hiring talent. Odoo provides a system that allows the Human Resources Department to manage their recruitment tasks efficiently, eliminating repetitive administrative tasks. The hiring process can be broken down into an actionable steps. At Stealthy Wood, we prepare a job description, advertise the position, review applications, conduct interviews, and eventually offer a contract to a superstar candidate. We use the recruitment app to perform all these tasks, which allows us to easily manage countless applications across multiple job openings, promote our job listings, and see those performance of those postings. With Odoo, we've been able to increase productivity, streamline data collection from candidates, and meet our hiring targets. So let's see how it all works. On my main recruitment dashboard, I can see an overview of our open job positions. Each card tells me the job title, if it's published, how many new applicants there are, and how many new positions there are to fill, and of course, if there are any activities to do. We have a new position at Stealthy Wood, so let's create a job posting for it. First, let's check our configurations and select settings, and I'm gonna wanna make sure that online posting is activated. Keep in mind to publish and edit a job description, you need to have both the recruitment and website apps installed. Down here, I have an option to send an interview survey. If you don't already have the survey app installed, enabling this option will install the app for you automatically. We'll learn more about these forms in just a moment. On the right, I also do have an option for CV digitization. This allows me to extract the name, email address, and cell phone number of any applicants directly from their resume and import them into the applicant card, which means less typing for me. I'm gonna leave this off for now, but you can learn more about this in our documentation. Don't forget to save any of these changes if you don't have them activated already. But for now, let's go ahead and return back to the recruitment dashboard. And I'll go ahead and click on the new button here to create that new job position. And we're gonna call it Office Manager. And I'll also go ahead and create an application email just for this position. And we will also call that Office Manager. When an applicant sends a resume to this email address, it will create an application in Odoo automatically filed under this job position. As you can see, we have the position added to the dashboard. Now, I wanna make changes to it before we publish it. So let's go ahead and click on these three dots here in the upper right hand corner of the card. And then we're gonna go ahead and select configuration. Our company information has autofilled under the job location here. For the department, I'll go ahead and choose administration. And for the employment type, let's go ahead and choose permanent. Under the recruiter, I'm just gonna add myself to this. I also have the option to add a contract template. The template I choose here will be used for the default contract used to make an offer to the selected candidate. I can create a new template from this page or I can select an existing one. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and use the full-time template. I also have the option to choose an interviewer. This role can be assigned to a user who doesn't have full access to the recruitment application, but will be involved in the interview process for this role in particular. If I go ahead and choose Audrey Peterson for this role, she'll be able to see this uh, job posting and information for any applicants for this role, but only this role. I can also choose which interview form I want to use. Let's choose the recruitment form. And if I click the in, uh, internal link here, I can see that this form is fully customizable through the survey application. I like the way it looks though, so I'll go ahead and just keep it like this for now. Finally, I can go ahead and add a brief job summary in the summary tab here. This is displayed on the main job list page on the website, so I want to keep it brief. So let's just say, keep our office running smoothly. And now, with these smart buttons here at the top, I can quickly see how many applicants I have for this position and any related documents that are related to this applicant as well. Now, if I click on the website button here in the upper right hand corner, I'll be redirected to the job posting on our website. This is the page that all prospective applicants will see when they're looking for information about this position. 
This is the generic template, but I can of course go ahead and edit in the upper right hand corner to customize it. But let's go ahead and leave this as is for now and move this to the publish stage. Now this page is officially published on our website. So we can go back to our office manager posting on our back end just by simply hitting drop position here in the upper right hand corner. And from the smart buttons here, we can go ahead and see that the website button is now green instead of red, which indicates that this is published online. Now let's go ahead and apply this position to someone as Daniel Smith. On the open position page, I'm just going to go ahead and select apply. Then I'll go ahead and fill out the name Daniel Smith and email Daniel Smith at test.com. We'll also go ahead and add a phone number. And then let's go ahead and add the attached resume here as well. And once we do that, we can go ahead and click the I'm feeling lucky button here. And I'm going to be taken to a confirmation page telling me that my application has been received. Now I'll go ahead and put my recruiter hat back on and we're going to jump back into the recruitment application. On the main dashboard under the office manager page, I can go ahead and see we have one new application. So let's go ahead and click one new application. This is the Kanban view for this position and these stages are fully customizable. And we can also go ahead and drag and drop candidates between the stages. If I go ahead and click on the gear icon under a stage and select edit, I can go ahead and configure an email template to automatically go out when an application is moved to this stage so that every applicant receives a reply without our team having to send one out manually. As you can see for this stage here, we already have one set up for this interview stage. Now let's go ahead and see if Daniel's the right fit for this role. To do that, let's go ahead and click on his Kanban card here. And from here, I can view his attached resume and his resume looks great. So let's go ahead and schedule him for that first interview. Once I save that page, we can automatically see that a email was sent confirming that we received his application. So let's go ahead and schedule an interview by clicking the no meeting smart button here. And then we can select a time for tomorrow and just call this Daniel's interview. And then we can just go ahead and save and close this. I can always click on the meeting and edit it to make changes later, but let's go ahead and use the breadcrumbs to go back to Daniel's application. On the smart button here, I can see that I now have a meeting scheduled. Now let's say I want Daniel to fill out an interview form prior to his interview. If I go ahead and click the send interview button here at the top, I'll be taken to a new page where an email template that includes the interview form we selected earlier is added. I can customize this message if I want and hit send, but let's go ahead and just send it as is for now. Once Daniel has submitted his responses, I can click the consult interview smart button. And we have a printable page of Daniel's answers that we want to give our team to use as a reference during his interview. How cool is that? Let's fast forward and say all of Daniel's interviews went really well and we want to send him a contract. So let's move him to the contract proposal stage. He can sign the contract directly through Odoo by selecting generate offer here. With the generate offer button, an email is generated offering Daniel the position and giving him the chance to read his contract and sign. So we can go ahead and send by email and click send. As soon as Daniel has signed his contract, all I have to move him to is the contract sign stage. And just like that, this hired banner appears and congrats, Dan. That's it for this video on recruitment. Be sure to check out our other videos for more information on payroll, referrals, and more. Thank you for watching and remember, never recruit on an empty stomach, so go grab a snack.